Hello, my dear, sweet, elegant ladies. How are you doing today? I am Christine Laringera, and this is my channel, World of Elegance Beautify 360. So today, I would like to tell you and show you what's in my pink leather tote handbag. Yeah. Okay. Let's start. So, okay, first bag out is the makeup bag. It's got a B on it. I don't know if it's a name brand or a trendy bag, but yes, it's a floral with a B. I don't know if it stands for Bella or Beauty or, you know, I don't know if this is a name brand makeup bag. But anyway, let me show you what's in it. As you can see, I've got a cute little tassel hanging there. A little key ring. Okay, so this is my makeup bag. Let me just put my other bag down. Okay, so let's see. Firstly, I have tissues. Okay, in case my nose is running all over the place. and I head outside and it's cold and I get the sneezes. So... Tissues is a must always Or basically everything in this bag. I'm going to show you is a must on a daily for me or Anybody for that matter any ladies That love to just keep their stuff organized. It's so great Okay, the next is my five Different color shades of Lipstick as you can see yes so i have a dark chocolate brown from avro Lane. i love dark chocolate by the way actual dark chocolate and chocolate mousse i love chocolate mousse so yeah this is known as a mona lisa but it's it's a dark chocolate brown that's shade number one then i've got a kkw red matte lipstick so it will hold on for 24 hours it's red then you get the avon plum it's known as the plum dimensions okay so i purchased this from avon a few months ago and i really love the color check it out i don't know if you can see the color it's a dark plum then i have a rimmel london it is the pink, pink a punch color. So as you can see, it's like a shocking pink shade of a lipstick. Then my last, I like to keep at least five different shades of lipstick colors in my purse. So I have a variety. Then here you have an Ascot of a it's a chubby lip pencil right and it also twists so this is a lighter pink of the shocking pink if i can put it that way but yes these are the shades i will always carry on with me i still want to get the nude and the beige more like a natural tone because it's better to have a natural makeup look instead of an overwhelming one so I prefer these for now then I have obviously a powder brush right from Avon as well so this is for my compact powder so I just dip 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 and then I place the powder lightly over my skin i don't like overdoing the powder on my face so this just helps a little bit just to blend in by the red spots on my face and everything so yeah that's the powder brush then i have double mascara okay i always keep double mascara in my makeup bag too because just in case the one's a bit dry i've got the one that's moist at least so then I still have the opportunity to plump my eyelashes up. Okay, so this is our May. <clears throat> this is a multi-benefit mascara. So this will grow your eyelashes. 
it will lengthen your eyelashes to a longer length and it will give you a lot of volume so it actually really makes my eyelashes look so amazing then i have a essence all eyes on me multi-effect mascara also volumizes the eyelashes it lengthens them to look a bit long and at least these mascaras don't clump my eyelashes to have clumpy eyelashes is very uncomfortable because i'll constantly be trying to get those little bubbles off the tips and they go into my eyes it becomes too much so at least these ones don't clump it's the best to get mascaras that don't clump onto your eyelashes then next i have an essence dip eyeliner so it's a liquid dip eyeliner this is perfect for when you have to contour the top of your eyelid to make that beautiful cat's eye and then i don't really use it here at the bottom part of my eye as it does burn for me but i'll always only do it just above my eyelashes and perfectly just so there's a little spike popping out there on the sides of my eyes so you look fava voon then i have two times eyeliners i always have to have at least two eyeliners and two mascaras because the textures are different like one semi applies and one really applies so it gives me a bit of a like a variety to choose if i want the heavy application or just the semi application so yeah they're both actually very nice soft eyeliner pencils this is Cole and contour by bourgeois or something like that joys yes and then this one is max factor it is the coal pencil so yes black eyeliner and when you apply your eyeliner just make sure it's not too thick just get it perfectly onto that bottom part of your bottom eyelid Then I really like my eyebrow brush because it gets your eyebrows in a perfect brushed little shape. So I always keep a little brush just to make sure my eyebrows are in control. I don't like my eyebrows all over the place and bushy. Then it looks like I was in shock or something. Then I have a cute little lip pies. It's a kitty cat meow yes so this i just if i don't feel like wearing a lipstick and i just really want my own natural looking lip seeing that i don't have the nude color or a skin tone lipstick color i usually take and it actually smells so nice and sweet i i take this just to give a little bit of a glow on my natural lips so yeah and then it actually looks beautiful to be more natural than overdone then i have obviously my compact powder is in this tub because unfortunately my actual holder broke and then the powder came out of here so yeah but anyway at least i managed to save what i could so that's still a blessing to have this little bit of face powder but i don't always wear face powder these days i just don't feel like it and i just want a little bit of lips and eyeliner and mascara and then i'm good to go then also you see obviously this is the bottom part of what my compact powder came in but as you can see there's these squares right i didn't throw this thing away for nothing i had an idea for this okay this i basically use as a brush washer it it cleanses my brush so i take it under the water and put some soap and then i wash my brush off see so i will never just throw anything away because if you can reuse something and just get an idea for it 
it helps you at the end because i didn't know how i'm going to clean my brushes perfect but these little squares actually that roughness seems to remove any residue that is left behind on this fluffy brush then obviously you need to always have a checkup a backup of a compact mirror as you can see yes so you just make sure everything's perfect on your face your hair must be perfectly in place so yes always have a little compact mirror and this is also i finished this compact powder that was in here because this is the one i really loved it was the la pro face high definition matte press powder this is the first one i actually had before i had the ascot compact powder of the caramel color so this is ultra fine powder that i had but this one was my best but it was more expensive than this one if i can remember correctly so this was the la girl and this was the ascot caramel and this was the soft honey color so you see like i choose things that will match my skin tone okay so yes compact mirror always have one just to make sure that there's no eyelashes out of place or you know your eyebrows aren't looking so shocking when you're looking at people <clears throat> pardon me and then obviously a sharpener a beautiful sharp sharpener okay but you can actually just make sure your pencils are perfectly sharpened so you never run low always have your eyeliner sharpened at all times then obviously i've got this little it's called the one use ears pops thing okay so i just obviously i do smoke but it's another habit i need to break okay so i'm trying different methods on how to quit so i'm trying to see which is the better option but anyway it's it's an air pops it's got 600 puffs and it's only one time use only so you have to throw it away when it's completely empty okay and that was it in the makeup bag that's all my makeup goodies in there i don't need a lot of makeup stuff i only keep what i know i'm going to use i don't really use that hold on spray where you have that makeup thing where you spray it on and it holds your makeup i've never had my makeup really giving me any problems you know okay so there's bag number one now bag number two is my whole manicure and pedicure set so first of all i have acetone right from Rohi this looks and it's um, it's amazing it's a very strong acetone and one instant touch on the nail that nail polish is already off I I couldn't believe my eyes I just touched it one notch there nail polish right off the nails then I have an emery board with shiny stripy gold yeah it's a cardboard file emery board then i have a stainless steel nail file also with a tip so this i use this tip for cleansing my nails underneath get dig that dirt away get rid of that dirt under your nails I don't like dirt under my nails because then I feel very dirty. Okay, then obviously hand scrub. It's pampering in pink by Oso Heavenly. It's a very softening hand scrub that you can use when you're out and you're, you want to keep your hands looking silky smooth because you're a woman. So obviously, yes. It's good to have a hand scrub. It's got little balls inside that can, you know, exfoliate your hands at the same time. And it smells so florally. 
if I can put it that way. Oh, it's so nice. See? Okay. Now, then I have a oh so here the pampering in pink. It is a hand cream. So you must be positively pink. Heart of gold. Always keep your hands moisturized. You'll feel good about it. Then obviously hand sanitizer. This is a herbal medical hand sanitizer. Yeah, just a green herbal one. Then obviously cuticle oil, fingernail oil. This is from Olive. Olive, yes. The wrapping, unfortunately, is off, so, yeah, but it is an olive brand, and it really helps. It's feed, it's feeding the nails, it's making sure your cuticles repair themselves, no torn edges on your nails or your cuticles, so yes, you've got it pretty easy with that, nice and silky, soft fingernails and cuticles. And then obviously, yes, my cotton swabs that go with my acetone. And then I have, for now, five different nail colors. Okay. I have Saint Tropez, which is from Voy. It says, pamper yourself like a professional. It's a maxi brush nail varnish. Okay, Saint Tropez. Then you get Majona Pitch Black Gel Look Nail Varnish. Then you get Lovely Lavender from Voy Pamper Yourself Like a Professional with your Maxi Brush Nail Enamel. Then you have a Sorbet Long Wear Salon Professional Finish. This color is a soft, gentle pinkish purple and has a little bit of a glittery glow in between. Then another Voy nail varnish product. Pamper yourself like a professional. Maxi brush nail enamel. It's known as the blue skies. Blue skies. Beautiful. These are the main colors I'm using right now at the moment until I can get the others that I want to add into my collection of nail varnish. Then I have a toenail clipper, which I use just on my toes and obviously a fingernail clipper. The sizes are very different. This is medium and this is large. So I never mix I never use one nail clipper on both my toes and my fingernails. I'm scared of traveling infection from one point to the next. So always just use separate nail clippers. So toenail clipper, massive, large, because obviously the toenails are more difficult to clip as they get thicker as they grow. And then this is just for the fingernails, which aren't really going to get like so hard as a toenail okay so then i've got a little pouch as well with a few little other items of my nail kit from my nail kit okay obviously tweezers to pluck out those irritable hairs that are just chilling here on your face okay who wants a uno brow you know i don't really want a uno brow so just terminate those hairs that make you look odd. Just always look very smooth on the face. No odd hairs to stick out. Then you get these two little cute emery boards. These are actually from my Impress Kiss nails. The ones that you just press on your nails. No super glue needed, no nail glue needed. Just a sticky tab on the nail and onto your natural nail. This is what I've kept 
I'll never just throw it away because this is back up at the end of the day if you cannot find your longer ones. And the textures are different of the emery boards. So obviously the roughest one is for those really stubborn cracks in your nails. And then it gets smoother as you go along. So I've got different combinations of texture for the emery boards depending on how damaged the nail is okay then i've got another tool it's also got a nail file rough edge here but i don't really use this to just trim my nails or file my nails down because this damages them more whereas this is way better this doesn't literally cause more lumps and cracks in the nail so yeah, and there's also a pointed part. I also use this part just to clean out the dirt from underneath my toenails. Okay, so yes, this one I use for my fingernails. And this one I use for my toenails to cleanse underneath my toenails. So I always use separate one for the hands, one for the, for the feet. There you go. Then obviously a cuticle pusher. It's always nice to just give your cuticles a bit of a pushback so that you have more nail space to paint on your beautiful colors that you so desire. And it helps the nail to grow out a bit further. So basically give the nail a chance to breathe. Okay, so it's a cuticle pusher. It's got a groove at the top. It's so tiny though. Okay, that is my little nail kit that I have. Okay, that was bag number two that came out of my pink leather tote bag. So yeah, it's nice to have enough of everything. I never want to be left stranded without my stuff okay bag number two so this was bag number one with the makeup this is bag number two with the nail kit so yeah i like to have a different bag for everything as it makes me feel more organized so i like to categorize my stuff into their own bags so everything to do with the nails i place in a special bag then I know, okay, this is the nail kit bag or the manicure pedicure bag. And then I have a separate bag for obviously my makeup, which is so. So all my makeup goodies go in there. Now, for just a basic toiletry beach bag, it's got the beach theme on it. Okay. This holds just the loose ends that were lying in my bag so yes let's open this this is an umbrella right always use it as a backup because weather in south africa changes very quickly one day it will be sunny and then the next day it's just gonna pour down with rain like today is a good example yesterday was nice and everything and then the evening came and then there's the rain you wake up and it's rainy and wet outside so yeah just have this in case you need to walk out to the shopping mall or go have lunch somewhere yeah umbrellas are always good to have to protect your beautiful low waved hair and everything okay so yes and then obviously a beautiful clamp clip spider clip i call it the spider clip this really holds the hair when I mean, you just really want to just get it up there if it's irritating your neck so you don't have tickles on your shoulder or anything when you're busy, you know, running up and down. Because who wants hair in their face when they're trying to find things or go shopping, you know? It's just good to have a bit of a clearer vision with your hair out of your face. <clears throat> For example, now I'm going to put this clip. I've obviously got a nice little beak look-alike clip. So this helps just to get my hair a little bit out of the way as I'm trying to look for things and whatever. 
then obviously you need a spare hair tie if you just really feel you want to get all your hair back up out of the way like say now you go jogging or you just don't want your hair to get crazy in a windy day on a windy day when when you're walking out you know or going out for breakfast you don't want your hair falling in your food okay and then obviously two clips can also control the hair that is going to be dangling in your face and it's nice to actually see a woman's beautiful facial features if she can keep her hair out of her face it's nice to see different structures of a woman's face so yeah don't be scared to show off your best assets your eyes your chin your cheeks your ears because you are beautiful okay no matter what you are beautiful ladies then obviously earphones for those days where i just want to listen quietly to what i want to listen to like my music or watch youtube videos that i enjoy so you know so i just have respect for those around me so i don't blast my videos or my music when i'm listening to it then this is a new brush that i got a few days back and it really makes a difference it's way better than the brush i previously had like this just it brushes through so easily no problems it detangles my hair quick easy one two three i don't have to stand and go and go you just go over the area once and the knots are out and i've noticed it makes my hair silky so i don't know how that's possible but it does and if i remember correctly this was i don't know if it was a Clarsen style brush or a clarissa but anyway, it's got that like rose gold on the side. I love rose gold as well. That's also one of my favorite colors. It's also very, I find it's a very elegant color. So yeah, there's my brush for the knotty hair days and the get your hair in control days. When you're on the go all the time. Obviously, if you're a mom, yes. Just always keep on looking good right okay you don't want to look like as if you've been in a tornado okay so that's that's the little bit that's in my beach themed bag that came out of my pink leather tote bag <sighs> give me one moment please okay thank you i was just busy drinking my peach and apricot fruity juice Okay, let's see what else is in my bag. Okay, let me just grab it for a second. Okay, as you can see, baby wipes, these work for everything for me. Face, hands, a quick freshen up here and there. You know what I'm saying? When you're out and about and it's a hot summer's day and you are sweating. Oh, it's not nice to be sweating while you're out, eh? I just don't like it, especially my skin gets oily, right? This literally helps to decrease the oil in my skin. It rehydrates my skin and it decreases the oils that come from my skin. So yeah, this helps me with everything. Hands. Even when I have a bit of a makeup issue, I would take baby wipes quickly fix up underneath the eyes or anywhere on the face and then it looks like you are refreshed baby wipes do everything for me these are the only ones by the way that are gentle on my skin i've tried makeup wipes many moons ago or any other wipes like I, that I could possibly try but it didn't work for my skin so I decided let me do the baby style baby wipes and I found that it really helps my skin then next bag number four out of mommy bag pink leather tote okay 
so this is exciting now let's see which one do i want to take out first let me just just grab out what i want okay so perfume lady million it's got a very nice hygienic spicy elegant woman smell to it it's called lady million okay oh it's beautiful so this is from one of my cosmetic stores here in kenton park all right so yeah and it's an oil based so this really lasts me at least two days it sticks into my skin and even on my clothing so this is why i like it this really holds on my skin and it really goes with the scent of my skin so yes i've never had a problem with this this is the best perfume that i've tried then obviously headache tablets panados are the main ones that i would use every time i catch a pain in my neck in my head no matter where even if you're sneezing it really helps with colds and flus i like panado okay perfect perfect always have your medicine nearby 